I'm creating this Excel workbook for other people to use, and I want to make it easy for them to move from one sheet to the next in the correct order so that they enter all the data that I'm going to need from them. So to make that easy, I'm, I've created a couple of macros in here, and if we go to the Developer tab and click Macros, you can see Go Sheet Back and Go Sheet Next. And those macros will just move the person to the next sheet or the previous sheet from whatever sheet they're currently on. So right now we're on sheet one, you can see down here. So I'll click go sheet next. When I run, it takes them to go to sheet two. So I'm going back to sheet one and to make it easy for them to run the macros, just go from one sheet to the next, I'm going to add a button for back and next at the top of each sheet. To do that, I'm on the Developer tab, and I'll click Insert. And under Form Controls, I'll click the button. I'm going to just draw a button the size that I think I'll need, and I can adjust it later. And when I let go the mouse, the Assign Macro button comes up, showing button 4. I want this first button to go back to the previous sheet if it's clicked. So I'll select that macro and click OK. So it's now showing button 4, which isn't really going to help anyone who looks at that. So I'll select that text. And I'll do a less than symbol, a little arrow there, a space, and back. And now if I select all that text and go to the Home tab, I can click B for bold and make it a bigger font so that people can read it. When I click away, there's our new button with an arrow pointing back. When they click it, they would go to the previous worksheet. I'm going to make another button that takes them to the next sheet. So I'll click here. Go to Developer, Insert, Button, Draw a Button, and this one will go to the next sheet. When I click OK, there's our button, and I'm just going to change its text to Next, Next, and a space, and I'll do a greater than symbol pointing to the right. On the Home tab, I'll make this bold and 14. When I click away, there's our Next button. Now I can line those up if I like. To select a button, right now if I point to it, I get that hand symbol, which means if I click it, it's going to run the macro. So to select the button, I'm going to press the Control key on the keyboard and then click the button and I'll click the Next button. So while holding the Control key and clicking on a button, you'll select the button. Now I've got those buttons selected so the drawing tools appear. And if I click Format, this little button will align things. So I'm going to click and click Align Top so that the buttons are nicely lined up. And to make sure they're exactly the same size, I can click size. And they are both the same size, so I can make them a little narrower. I could change the size here to 1, and now they're both the same size and aligned. To put those on the other sheets, while they're selected, I can go to the Home tab and click Copy. And when I go to Sheet 2, I'll click and I can do, a, on the keyboard, I can do Control v to paste, or I can click the Paste button on the ribbon. So you can do that on each sheet, just to add all your buttons, and then click away from the buttons so they're not selected. Now I'm on Sheet 3. When I click, I go back to Sheet 2. If I click its button, it takes me back to Sheet 1. And if I click on Sheet 1, it should take me to 6 because there's nothing to the left of Sheet 1. So I click that and it takes me 
around to sheet six.